All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Simple Logistics mod, which was originally made by forum user Real Gecko. It's now been taken over by user Zero Kerbal. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a simple tool for resource sharing among landed vessels without needing to dock them. And I really love this mod, though I do really need to stress right off the bat here about that landed aspect to it as you are going to have to land your ship to take advantage of this mod. If you are up in orbit, you're gonna have to transfer resources the old-fashioned way of docking, etc. But if you are using, say, a rover or building a base on the moon, you can use this mod to effectively transfer resources and even share resources through some sort of wireless magical technology, which may not be the most immersive thing ever, but hey, it's simple convenient and I like it. It works really well. So uh, before we actually jump into how this works, I do need to mention that there are some mod dependencies. So to get everything to function properly, you will need the mods, click through blocker, as well as the toolbar controller. And with those, you'll get a lovely new button over here, which when pressed will bring up our new Logistics Network UI. And this is what makes everything function. And it is a wonderful thing. So what all do we get here? Well, right up at the top, we have our current vessel, which is, well, the current ship you're on currently is my simple logistics one little truck here that I made but if we switch over to our other ship you see it changes to simple logistics two and below that is the current state of this ship and if it is hooked into the network or not currently both of these vessels are unplugged now if we do want to add it into the logistics network it's a pretty simple procedure. All we do have to do is either hit this button right here to toggle the plug, or alternatively, we can right click on the command pod and we get a new little button down at the bottom to add plug into network. And if you hit either button, it doesn't matter which, they both do the same thing. Uh, boom, we are now plugged in to the logistics network and have access to the resource pool. And this is one of the awesome things about this mod, that resource pool. Any vessel that is plugged into the logistics network and is within range will share its resources with every other ship in the network. So say for instance, if you're building a base, you don't have to worry about having all the basic utility resources on one part to get it there. You just need whatever it's meant to be used for, and then it'll grab the other resources it needs from the rest of the pool. And this really works best in regards to bases, in my opinion, as if you're building a large, sprawling base, it's kind of annoying to have to connect all those things, either by docking or using some form of tube added in from another mod. This, you can just wirelessly connect them all and they'll still share all their resources, which is pretty cool. And you'll see here in the resource pool, it lists every different resource available and the amount that it has. And you'll notice our oxidizer is currently at zero, as this ship, well, it's got plenty of power and even some solar panels, but, oh man, it ran out of oxidizer. Now, the other ship that I have here, Simple Logistic One, it has oxidizer, but it's lacking the rest of the resources. And even though it's unplugged, you'll see we have a new little UI here because guess what? Even though it's unplugged, it's within range of our logistics network. And so it can actually request some resources despite the fact it's not plugged in. Now, if we did plug it in, it would share resources with this other ship, and basically their resources would begin to merge, so like uh, power here would probably end up going to 50%, and the power on this ship would go down to 50%, and they'd begin sharing it as these solar panels charged up both of their batteries. But since this is unplugged, 
Well, we can just request those resources from the network. And it's quite easy. You can see here in the resource pool section, this little section of number here is showing what we do currently have within the network. So currently 450 uh, electric charge and how much we currently are requesting, which is zero. But if we move it up to say halfway roughly, we're now requesting 204 power out of the 450 available to the network. And if we want to take all of the possible energy we can for this truck, well, we can bump it all the way up there and it'll go to the max. If we want to bump it down back to zero, we can click that or go anywhere in between. And then of course we can, you know, do the same for liquid fuel because we're lacking in that resource and monopropellant and oxidizer. Oh no, we actually have all the ox oxidizer we need. And once we have these different numbers set, it's as simple as requesting those resources with this button, and boom! Now we have a full amount of electric charge. We have, you know, roughly half liquid fuel and monopropellant. And you can see here on the resource pool, the electricity is going back up because, well, this ship over here has solar panels. So the resource pool is regaining its power. We took all that we could to fill our own batteries. And now the pool is working out the rest. And that's great. So now that we have requested resources, this rover can go on its merry way and do whatever mission it needs to do. But what if we do want to add it into the network? Well, it's just, you know, we turn on its plug as well. Boom, it's plugged in. It's now added into the resource pool and you'll might have noticed our electricity dropped massively because it was trying to even out the amount of electric charge between both of these vessels. But now that we are linked, well, these uh, solar panels here are charging up our vessel here, which is great. We are sharing these resources over this little network now, and we're good to go. And at any point, if we so desire, we can unplug and then go back on our merry way to do whatever missions we need to do. And then, of course, if need be, we can then close the logistics network down there, and it's off the screen. And this is just such a wonderful mod. I really love both the ease of resource transferring from here, as well as the ability to plug in all of your ships in range and share resources over the entire network. That is very cool. My one, I don't really want to call it a problem, but balance issue that I have is the range. The range of the network is 2.4 kilometers, roughly. So any vessel within 2,400 meters will share resources, which is a lot of area. <laughs> and I think that's kind of a bit much. Honestly, I think that that should go down to maybe like 500 meters or something like that, if even that. I, I think 2.4 kilometers is a little bit crazy, as basically you'd be able to share resources more or less in this entire plains area. And that's, I think, a bit excessive. But as long as you don't personally decide to, yeah, build something way the heck over there, still plugged in with the network, then oh well, who cares? You do you, have fun. I just think it is balance-wise, I mean, we're already magically transferring resources wirelessly here, so I think balance-wise, maybe that should be brought down. But all in all, it's still a very cool, very useful mod, and is compatible with the community resource pack. So if you do have other mods installed that add in other crazy weird resources, they'll still work with the network just fine, which is a great little addition so you don't have to worry about your other mods not being compatible. Uh, but yeah, that is really all there is to know about the Simple Logistics mod. It is a great little tool that allows you to do a lot of well, a lot easier of transfer of resources between ships and, of course, sharing amongst the network. 
all cool, great features to have. And if you'd like to check this mod out for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.